the next topic that we need to study is Armstrong numbers. What is an Armstrong number? If the sum of the nth powers of its digits equals that number, it is an Armstrong number. And here n means the number of digits in that number. Now let me explain this by making use of an example. You consider the number 1634. Here how many digits are there? We know that 4 digits are there. 1, 2, 3, 4. So number of digits n is equal to 4. You take the digit in the unit's place 4. Find the nth power of 4. 4 is to n plus take the digit in the tens place that is 3. Find the nth power of 3 that is 3 raised to n plus take the digit in the hundreds place 6. Find the nth power of 6, 6 raised to n plus take the digit in the thousands place 1. Find the nth power of 1, 1 raised to n. Now here n example taken 4. So this is 4 raised to 4 plus 3 raised to 4 plus 6 raised to 4 plus 1 raised to 4. And what is 4 raised to 4? 256 plus what is 3 raised to 4? 81 plus 6 raised to 4? 1296 plus 1 raised to 4? That is 1. And this sum equals 1634. So we can say that the sum of the nth powers of its digits equals that number. So we can say that this number is an example for an Armstrong number. We will write a Python program to check whether a number entered from the keyboard is an Armstrong number or not. Before I discuss the program, what is the use of Armstrong numbers? Armstrong numbers are really useful in creating data security applications. What is this data security applications? Data encryption and data decryption are examples for data security applications. What is this encryption and decryption? Let me explain using an example. You consider the password AB. The actual password will not be saved in a file because if someone opens that file, they will come to know about the actual password. So in programming situation, what the programmer does is the actual password is passed through an encryption algorithm and thereby an encrypted password is created. This encrypted password will be saved in the file. Example, suppose the encryption algorithm used is increment by 1. An example, so A incremented by 1, you get B. B incremented by 1, you get C. So for this actual password, the encrypted password is BC. This encrypted password will be saved in the file so that even if someone opens the file, they will get only the encrypted password. They will not get the actual password. Now in order to get the actual password, they should know about the encryption algorithm. But remember, in real life situation, the encryption algorithm is a complicated algorithm with the billions of statements. So it is not easy to decode the encryption algorithm. So from the encrypted password, a hacker will not be able to get the actual password because the encryption algorithm is a powerful, strong one. Now what is decryption? Converting the encrypted password into the actual password using an encryption algorithm is known as decryption. So for for better encryption and decryption in real life programming situation programmers make use of Armstrong numbers.